Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Davis. I'm the VP of Sales with Norwich Solar Technologies. And we're here today in an existing solar field in White River Junction, Vermont. And we're gonna tell you a little bit about how community solar works. So right now you're gonna hear from some of the members of an existing project uh, and get a feel for what their experience has been like in working with Norwich Solar and, and uh, being part of a community solar project. I live in a townhouse in a condominium association. I calculated that I was going to need about 16 panels because of my heat pump, my electric heat pump, and because I had just bought a, an electric car. And there was no way with all the skylights and the twists and turns in, in the roof that I could get 16 panels up there, even though it faced in the right direction. It just wasn't going to work. So in 2012, we had an energy audit, tightened the house up, and then um, decided on using, um, getting a, a five kilowatt uh, array on our rooftop. Uh, and our house is all electric. And it was able to, to more or less cover most of the charges uh, for the electric bill, but uh, not all of it. And then uh, when we were made aware of, of uh, this community solar here in Norwich, uh, we decided on uh, uh, getting involved and in getting another uh, five kilowatt array. My house isn't situated where I can put any um, solar panels on the roof. And around the house is all wooded, so it really made sense to think about community solar. How does community solar work? Um, the, the field that I'm standing in now contains about 2,000 solar panels. and. No one needs 2,000 solar panels for their house. But each member owns their own little slice of the panel. So we look at your electric bills, we figure out how many panels you need. Maybe it's 10, maybe it's 20. Whatever that number is, those panels are generating power all the time. That power is fed into the grid and then it's all metered so that you get credits on your electric bill at the end of every month. So what we try to do is size the number of panels that you need to offset the electric bill that you have at your house. Uh, and we get it as close of a match as we possibly can. So you don't have to put the panels on your own roof or on your own property. You can locate them in a project like this where they're optimally sited to get the best production possible and then have the credits that it produced go to your uh, electric bill every month. The, the experience with the, with the rooftop panels was a good experience, but I mean, the community solar was really painless. And so um, I would certainly recommend that to anybody who is thinking about going solar. My share is about 14 panels. And I, I really like the idea of sharing um, the solar with my Norwichians. Norwichians. <laughs> when I found out how simple it was to uh, buy into, into community solar, I thought, well, that's probably what I'm going to do. And I'm really happy to have the installation here now. So the question oftentimes comes up about the day-to-day the -day management of the project and who handles that in a community solar project like this. And the way that we do it is similar to a condo association. You know, if you own a condo, you own and take care of the unit inside, and there's an association that takes care of all the, uh, the buildings and grounds on the outside of the unit. And community solar is much the same. We have a management company that's dedicated to taking care of paying the lease, paying the taxes, doing the operations and maintenance, all those annual expenses that accompany a project like this. And that's all paid for with just a small portion of the net metering credits from each member in the project. So a small portion of your credits are retained to go into that management company that then pays for the operations of the project. So what's great about that is you don't have to worry about it. The panels just sit there in the field, someone else takes care of it, and you just get clean electricity delivered to your, uh, your electric bill every month. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you learned a lot more uh, about community solar. And we've got projects like this happening all over the state of Vermont and New Hampshire. We're a local company. We're based right here in White River Junction, Vermont. And we'd love to talk to you about uh, a membership in a community solar project coming up in your area. So if you're interested in finding out more, uh, you can find us on the web at norwichsolar.com. You know, I'm pretty old. I, I'm my, my panels will probably outlast me. That's not why we did it. We did it to reduce our carbon footprint because we know this is really a, an existential you know, threat to our kids and, our, and future generations. So everybody has to pitch in.